Hi guys, uh, review on the Citadel Chaos Black uh, spray paint primer. Uh, price wise, well, it says £9.50 on their website, but when I went into the store to get some, it was £10.50, so I don't need to stack a pocket in money, <laughs> or it's just Games Workshop way of dealing with dealing with uh, customers around the UK. Just, oh yeah, we can see them come and just bump it up another quid. Or, I think Games Workshop does that internationally as well, just in different languages. But uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this. They keep saying, what, what are the good primers? Uh, anything that won't melt your plastics basically or like that uh, acrylic form so uh, but I've had this and I've uh, sprayed quite a few sprues and stuff like that uh, don't, I haven't got much left in it but for £10.50 is it worth it well as you can see I'll turn like that it is quite a big can but looks can be deceiving. Uh, it wasn't full right to the top, so somebody could have been using it, which I should have picked up on it when I when I walked out of the shop, or it could have just been half filled. Uh, and uh, a lot of people say, does it leave a chalky uh, surface afterwards? And I can confirm it. It does. It does leave a bit of a chalky surface. Uh, it's okay to paint on, but say if you've got uh, I don't know a, a bit of school white. Uh, on your index finger and your thumb and you don't notice it and it can be the littlest bit uh, I, I, I had a little bit uh, my index finger and my thumb and uh, lucky enough I was only doing the base uh, the uh, I was doing the uh, Necron Warriors I was holding the base and I noticed when I smeared my finger the chalkiness of the base after I sprayed it with the Chaos Black it left like a smudge mark. Uh, I tried to wipe it quickly, but no, it's still been it's straight on there. So if you are using uh, quite bright colours, like white or uh, like the oranges and stuff like that, you've got to be really careful, or you'll be getting out your chaos black, uh, the Citadel or whatever ones you use, uh, the Arbor War Painter series, and you'll be going over certain bits. Uh, drying time's great, it's quite quick, quick spray, leave it five minutes, completely dry. I haven't uh, sprayed a, well primed a model with sand on it yet because of uh, just the way the spray is sometimes. Uh, they say that you've got to clean them out, which I've cleaned it out twice, but I've noticed when you take the nozzle off, the nozzle decides to play silly buggers so but all in all if you're starting out and everything I would say go on the forums check out what other people are using well, a lot of people use airbrushing techniques but if you do want to spray paint just go on forums obviously from the UK use the UK one because uh, um, in the states obviously spray paints are different I've seen them using a lot of different ones uh, a lot of people go to Halfords in the UK for uh, car primers, you can get them in black and stuff like that. The heart, I, think, I think one of the hardest colours is white to get, but uh, I'm sure somebody can tell me that in the comments below. But all in all, that's why I brought it for, to show you what I think of it and gave my review on it. But thank you, remember to leave the comments below.